Happy Thursday, Tina. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing all right. Are you going to make it to KubeCon? I am not, unfortunately. Yeah, me neither. Jory pinged me and said, hey, I got a room for us on Wednesday. And so I said, I'll ask the rest of the gang. Folks are okay with the time. I think Sam's going to be there. <laughs> Sam Carp. Yeah. But that's actually the only person I know who's definitely confirmed to me they're going. I feel like Mike had mentioned... Possibly. We'll see. You know, there's a lot of who got talks approved more than anything. Other than that, it's a quiet day in OCI right now. I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Do a couple of the PRs that can use a review on the list, but I don't think either of them are waiting on you. Let's see, yeah, you already approved the image spec one. And are you interested in being a distribution spec maintainer? Can always nominate you. Not disinterested, but I don't want to cause drama. I mean, it's OCI. Everything causes drama. It's true. I'm certainly open to it. Yeah. Looking through the list right now, we've got already a Docker. We've got Derek and Stephen Day. So that might be the only question in there is we've already got a couple of Docker folks. Yeah. Mike and Sajay, how you two doing today? Fair to middle. What's that, Mike? Fair. Fair. Okay. I pinched Fair a enough. sciatic nerve. Oh. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> my my good leg is now out of commission. <laughs> oh. Well, since the two of you are here, there are two PRs, and I think between the two of you, we might be able to get these two merged. I'll drop them in the comments here. One of them on image spec for Sajay, I think that's an easy one. You might have... No, I don't think you did review that one earlier. And then this one over on distribution spec, this is the one I was more thinking of. Mike, you reviewed it before, and I'd change like one reference from runtime to distribution in there. And it was like, okay, Mike's review is gone. I'm like, oh. Look, I'm looking at the Delta. Uh, wait, additional commit? Nope. All right. It's not, it's not That's a huge good. I'll, Delta. I'll find it. For example. Yeah, I think a couple of the places in there were saying runtime. I'm like, if it's distribution spec, we should use That's distribution funny. spec for our examples. So I took a bunch of the cop copy paste out of there. Yeah, I mean, Nick could have just said maintainers would have been a little bit. Actually, I don't think there's any particular rule that, I mean, it needs a maintainer proposal. It just needs maintainer vote. Which line are you looking at? Uh, 15. Oh, yeah. But that's, this is fine. Not asking for it. <laughs> I've already got one approved on the CMS. I know, I know, I know, I know. Go <laughs> lose Derek's.
other than that, I was mentioning to Tianan before you both joined in that Jory was asking about whether Wednesday would be a good time for us. Mention 2.30 to 4.30 Mountain Standard Time on the 13th. That's at KubeCon. She got a room potentially tentative, but she was running by to make sure that scheduling would be okay with folks. So if you have a chance, check your calendar, check your agenda if you're going to be on site and make sure those times work and raise a red flag if they don't. On line 51, did the charter actually um, disappear? Was that the problem? More than likely if I did something. Um, yeah. You, you pulled a link to the charter. Oh, moved it down to the bottom. Ah, okay. It's one of those bottom references, but it got Found it. put in the middle of the file because we kept adding stuff after it. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I always forget the formatting on the bottom right and the references thing. Cool. Thank you, Sajay. That was an easy one. I try to make them easy as best I can. No, and that's gonna be paying, I'm right I'm getting ready for when I finally do the whole revamp of the conformance and distribution spec and knowing that's going to be like painful and insane to get everybody to agree on that one. Merge. Nice. Two in one meeting. That's a productive day. Thank you both. So like I say, those were the only things I threw on the agenda. Feel free. Hang around. Chat amongst yourselves. Any fun topics? Any good stuff going on OCI today? Now's your chance. And I can put, it's in the main notes, but I can drop the time here in our chat for anyone that's not paying attention to the notes. Just give your calendar a check and make sure that's not a horribly bad time for anybody. It's at KubeCon. Wednesday, 2.30. Checking the schedule. I, I was hoping for... A, a Tuesday drop on that one. At KubeCon. Try to get it before all the insanity. Yeah. Yeah. I looked through the schedule, the actual event schedule to see what would be missed. And the one thing that caught my attention was Harbor has their project update, whatever they do for the CNCF projects at 2.30. And so, so that's Coincidence. one. That's one that I wouldn't like to miss, but... Yeah. I get that everything is triple booked at KubeCon. There's never a good time that you're going to appease everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, are you going to make it to KubeCon? Yeah. Okay. If, I'll try if, to if my good leg works, I'll be there. <laughs> Knock wood. Uh, I'll be there. I can walk. I just can't. I can't navigate stairs at this point. Not without a crutch. Oh. Hopefully they have bad. escalators. It's it's weird. It the uh, because of the nerve pinch, the leg will just give out. If I if it if the knee is bent, it's like, nope, I'm not gonna hold your body your body weight. And it just goes and I end up on the ground. Oh then it's not a good okay. day there. Somebody will pick me up. I'll be fine. I was running and doing all kinds of stuff and I, I overdid it. And mm -hmm. I dropped a boulder on my leg. <laughs> I was moving boulders. You're, and you're it, not it, supposed it, to do that. I know. It was, it was I thought you did all the heavy lifting in this meeting. You have to do boulders now. <laughs> Ranch work. I was, I was clear. I was clearing. I pulled a tree out. And the stump pulled up a bunch of rocks. So I was rearranging the boulders. <laughs> and and while I had my leg squatted, while I was squatting, it rolled over my hands and it hit my thigh. Wow. And pinched pinched a nerve in my hip. <laughs> it's like, what? Never had this happen to me before.
Hey, Sam. We're pretty much finished up. We just had a couple of minor PRs we we're taking a look at. Hello. Yeah. Um, did I miss the discussion on the the KuCon room? It's kind of like a half discussion. Um, it's a proposed time. And so you will be a good person to check in on that one. Make sure your calendar is open on that window or if not, let us know. Yeah. Um, I had been thinking, I don't know if this is, I mean, maybe, maybe Wednesday is better because it's actually during the conference, but I'd been kind of thinking uh, whether we wanted to do something Tuesday, uh, which That's is where that's it all what goes. I said. <laughs> Just before you yeah. got on, I said the same thing. I was hoping for Tuesday. Hey. Um, we I can could, let Troy know, could... or you can let her know. Um, ping her in Slack. I think she is currently over in Open Source Summit DU right now, so she might be a little slow to respond. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, sort of, we don't have a lot of people in the meeting right now, but does Tuesday work for most of the people here who are going to come to KubeCon? I think the two people. Yeah, I'd like to do some to of the AI con stuff that's going to go on on Tuesday, but that is the best day. I'd rather attend the community meetings on Monday, right? And then um, like contributor meetings. And yeah. Then, during AI con slip out for this one for you know for an hour or two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll follow up with um Dory on that uh and see if if we can get a slot for Tuesday. Um I don't know if there's an interest in keeping the Wednesday slot too, but I think Tuesday works better for me and sounds like it works better for Mike too. And is anyone else outside, coming? That's what I was gonna ask outside of you and Mike, anyone else going? Okay, so maybe it's just me and Mike. Yeah, we had four of the container D guys. For five, five of the container D guys will be there. Yeah. Um, at least on the Friday. <laughs> but hopefully they'll they'll come in earlier too, if not six or seven uh, container D guys. Just saying. <laughs> cool. I'll I'll follow up on on seeing if we can move that to Tuesday then, and see if that works for. I'll post in the Slack too, um, and see if anyone else is coming and wants to meet on Tuesday. Yeah, do, do some kind of vote for the two options. Nice. I think part of it is just, is it possible to find a room? Yeah. And so, yeah, if you follow up with her, that'd be awesome. Oh, there'll they'll be a room. There's always one. I don't know. Everybody wants to do some kind of meeting somewhere. Everybody's triple booked. Well, worst case, we can find one of these diamond groups and use theirs. Turn it into a hallway track at some point. Everybody just huddles around a laptop for anybody who wants to join on Zoom. There you go. Sneak into the speaker's lounge. So yeah, other than that, no items. Um, feel free. Anybody want to chat about other OCI stuff? Do you want to? Sajay's just like, I just want to go. Let me out of here. <laughs> I, I missed last week. Was there anything interesting? Scrolling back. Um, trying to get approvals on these PRs. Yeah. I did mention a little bit um Lake Three came up again of uh, what's the current status. And I was asking about the URLs field and the raw image layers. So the raw image layers I've pushed back on. Someone was basically trying to say let's make a new layer type, which was just arbitrary blob. And the idea was that they wanted to have this for an artifact that they could mount in as an arbitrary blob as a layer of their container image. And I was like, like with this I, pod spec thing. Yeah. I this is exactly what it was coming to. And I was like, I get why you want to do it, but the right path is to go over the pod spec to go over to the volume mount stuff that they're working on over there and get yeah. them to support artifacts directly and not try to reinvent what an image is to try to force them to adopt what they're trying to do. Right. If you if you want an image, use use the use the image spec. 
and if you want something that's not right um yeah yeah a couple of interesting things are coming up on that we we're not solid yet on how to implement even for an image that's being layered over multiple containers for example if the if the oci image spec actually has a list of of local mounts to be attached do we apply those uh for the pod um, first implementation doesn't have it <laughs> it's like whoops no there, there was, there's two sets of volume mounts there's the ones that are specified in the container itself right and then there's the ones that can be specified in the pod spec but you know under the kubernetes api and we add them together um after making it appropriate adjustments <laughs> and and we haven't done that yet on the implementation for the pod uh image that's pointing to the target it's saying there's a, there's a lot of corner cases that we're going to have even if it's just an image when you're starting to talk about having layered images with mounts that are being attached to a container so I'm, what's a pod? And then you, you come up, well, okay, well, I don't understand what's a pod. We don't yeah, have so, a pod definition. I think we need that. So um, I'm trying to follow the issue because what you're originally saying was what I expected was when you run a container image, it looks at the container image, it looks at the pod spec and says the image has these volumes, the pod spec has these volumes, merge them together, deploy the pod. Are you talking specifically when you mount the volume, that's another image, and so you have like volumes within volumes? Yeah, so, let me explain a little bit. Um, in the container runtime interface API, which is not OCI, right? We we have uh, the ability to create a container, right? And in that create container, there's a uh, a request struct, and in that request struct, there are extra volumes to be mounted. And one of those volumes in this in this case. Um, is not going to be some, something that already has a mount path, okay, uh, a, to bind mount into a target. It, we don't have that. Instead, it's it's got an image ref for a container image that you've already pulled, and it could be an artifact, hasn't been tested yet, <laughs> right, that you've already pulled and stored. So what we do then in that path is we mutate the, the request for that OCI image volume mount by creating a local image, right? Um, that gives us bind mountable on disk and we lease it across the containers in that pod and or across other pods that may be doing the same lease, right? Or the, needing the same image. And then we go ahead and add a volume bind mount, okay, in the spec. Um, to be associated with all the other extra, you know, volume mounts um, that that container already has. Okay, and then we finish up, and we're good. We're out. We're out the door. So basically, we create a volume mount mountable, you know, path, uh, and and stuff it with the image, which is pretty much what we do for a container image, you know, snapshot, but it's different. Are the, are the layers unified in that model? Uh, like for the for that image if it's an image yes uh -huh. but to a target path not the root fs right that's the difference um but and again we're skipping the extra part right now where if the config of that image has a list of you know, right volumes within volumes volumes wow. yeah it's pain because sometimes when people create containers, they're, you know, they, they know it's going to be running with privilege and they want to, you know, take something off the, but to a specific subpath, right? Uh, you're not allowed to point. We don't allow you to point to like prox of sysfs or anything like that. So when you mount the container image, do you mount it read right with an extra overlay layer on top of it? No. In this particular case, we've decided that the additional mount will be read-only, non-executable. Data, just data. <laughs> yeah. Of course, they could 
they could run something <laughs> depending on the programming language. But it, yeah, you can't, it's, there will be no executables that will execute in that. And I can see someone want to have read write though. I, yeah. No. <laughs> that, 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 that was, that was, that was Ixnaid for this, for this uh, cycle. And you say that you don't know if people are going to, um, what's going to happen if you try to mount an artifact in there and, or that nobody's tested that. Someone has tested that. I haven't tested came it. came back and said it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> Not surprised. Work, work to do. Yeah. I Not... raised a comment on the, one of the kept discussions and okay. zero follow up. Yeah, you did. It. Saw it. But, yep. um, yeah, people have been seeing the original kept discussion was like, Artifacts are things like Helm charts and all these other things that exist up on, on registries today. And this is the proposal that you can mount artifacts into a container image. And they list the exceptions. I think it would depend on the error. I'd, I'd like to see what error they had. Um, it's not, you, it could have been an, Im, an actual image, right, with all the right fields. Um, it, it was a Helm chart. And so the Helm chart yeah. is packaged as an OCI artifact. It's got layers in there, but the layers are Helm chart layers, not the other not layers. Not or anything like that. Yeah, no. it's not okay. a container image. So um, did, did, did we fail because it's the wrong spec or did we fail because it's they're using a different field for the content? Was there an error? I guess is the first question. There was an oh, error. Well, I'm going to see if I can dig and find what the error was. Yeah. Yeah, if they haven't already. Could probably open up an issue. We just need to start going down that that route and see what we want to do. Um, we we haven't warranted that we support artifacts yet in Container D. Um, we don't not support them, but we haven't done anything anything extra, especially not at the cry layer. We haven't. See if it was this meeting. Not seeing it there. I think it was the artifacts working group last week, but I didn't see any copy and paste of the error message. Yeah. I'm sure we could reproduce it pretty quick. Yeah. So they actually think, pulled the PR and tested it and it failed? Yeah, they were trying we to merge. We haven't merged. So I would expect an error on 2.0 right now out of the, out of the, the release candidates. But we have not they, merged the PR yet for, for the support. They were pulling Alpha 4 um, using Kind and trying to run that. You can look at their notes. I'll drop their Google Doc. Thanks. And yeah, I think they had a bit of discussion on September 26th, but I think it was also on the 13th. It was really when we were talking about it. But the steps in there were listed of, hey, create a kind cluster, do these mounts, and um, something just wasn't working. Oh, for... this is with cryo. Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. That's fair. And yeah, so we'll, we'll try the same thing with uh, container data since we merged that PR. Um, they got my LGTM yesterday. And, and they verified that it does work for a normal artifact, but when they tried to throw a Helm chart in there instead for the volume source, they're like, no, it doesn't work. Like, Something. Okay. Not So some artifacts with cryo, not all. Yeah. Uh, Could it for just me, be the. Because that's all the cap covers right now. Maybe so, it's a bug that it, that some artifacts are working. Yeah, I don't think any artifacts work right now. The original intent, Sam, was to support artifacts, but then we quickly said, nope, <laughs> let's do image. So. Yeah, so maybe it's working as intended that Helm chart doesn't work. Yeah, my concern that I raised in the KEP is <clears throat> that we specify that the KEP is for artifacts and images. And the blog post says artifacts and images, the kept documents, here's what an artifact is, and then it lists things like Helm charts and other stuff. Yeah. It talks all about that. And then it says, but we're excluding anything that doesn't match these specific criteria. 
And if you read the criteria and you know what a container image is, you know that they just exclude everything that's not a container image. It's alpha and the first version of the alpha. <laughs> it got, it, you know, some basic support went in. It's very experimental. Um, I imagine we'll have a couple of alphas before we even start to consider making it a beta. Yeah. The, the concern for me is just that we're walking this fuzzy line in a not polite way to end users because end users are reading the saying, hey, they just said they support artifacts. I try to use it in an artifact and it's, it's not working. Yeah. Right. So should we just take the words artifacts out of those documents that you're talking about? That was what I was pressing for in my comment and it fell on very dead ears. Who, who were the, well, okay. Yes. The whole issue, nobody, nobody said anything about it, just kind of ignored it. This is really OCI images, not OCI artifacts. Yeah, and not even an index, just an image. Why would you want to mount an index? <laughs> you might have a multi-platform volume. Bad question, yep. yeah. <laughs> you know where that's going. <laughs> Wait, it's not going to support indexes? Does not or it's index. just not going to mount the index. It's going to mount by platform. It's going to yes. direct to an image manifest within the index. Yes. I, okay. Maybe container D. Oh, yeah, that works already. <laughs> yeah. So Oops. Container, container D might do that, but I don't know if Cryo does that. Yeah, if it oh, doesn't man. match the runtime resolution behavior, isn't that a bug? In yes, that would maybe, be a major bug. Yeah, whoops. Maybe the KEP needs to spell that out. We talked about platforms. I thought it was in the KEP. I'll have to take a look. I think the KEP put that in their list of things they don't support. Of We're not going to support an index. I'd have to go back and relook at that one. Not it shouldn't. We did have we do have one question though to the to the Microsoft team, which is, how do you want to switch on platform for a pod image when you've got two runtime can you know two versions of Windows, for example, might be used. If if there if there's a limit, Sajay, on on one particular uh, version, I, I would say that's probably expected. In your platform version check. So you want to do it by, oh, the OS version feel yeah. inside the platform. Oh my god! Okay. I mean, I'm just saying we're right right now. We haven't. We just we're just checking the plat. We're doing a a standard yeah. platform check, and I think in the pull request we're missing the version the lines of code for the if Windows, um, check on that to be platform slash version. But yeah, I don't I don't see why we would want to do any different than you would for a container uh right. so far as we should be mounting the 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 platform if they've requested it off an index. The the so one I, question sorry the one question still uh, I mean uh, okay maybe I can give some context here. So there was a a bunch of uh, discussions that I was having with Shue on Auras for how can an artifact define its platform? I mean, from an index, we can define it. But if you look at the artifact, there is no platform definition. And right. using the config spec again is one possibility. Uh, is that the model that we want to go with? I said, I don't know. We'll just have to bring it to this group and figure out whether that's that's what maybe you want to do, or maybe prototype something on their side and see how it feels and then come back with something more concrete. Because right now, if you take that for image, it might work because it can look at the config blob and see if it's mountable in some way. If it's a wrong platform, at least you can reject it. But for artifacts, I don't think we can do that because there is no definition. Brandon's Brand like, what? look at my smile. <laughs> no, I'm thinking there, you can do a multi-platform artifact you just can't specify within the artifacts right. themselves which platform each artifact is for. But you can make an index that has references and say this artifact is for this platform in the index. Yeah, and and so you need an index for for that. So which if the platform. tag is pointing directly to an artifact and the platform is wrong, there's no <laughs> to work. Or you can use the 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 right API to find the artifact that relates to this particular image. 
You're right. right. Which we're not doing yet in this. Yeah. Category. Yeah. What, what I think, Sajay, you're working on is you want to say from a given artifact, individual artifact, not the index, can you look up what platform this thing supports? And when you get rid of the config, no. Yeah, that is not, not today. That But it doesn't mean you can't have a multi-platform artifact, right? I, I mean, even before that, because if you're bound, if you're binding, um, I don't know, a, a wrong file system onto <laughs> using this, then that could be an interesting challenge. But the index solves it. But that's we all that all always means that you need two manifests to make the correct decision. You you yeah. would need that anyway, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, I mean, if you bind it by tag, if the tag is pointing to a concrete artifact, and let's say you give it the wrong tag, uh, then or a wrong platform tag, that should not be a problem. Like even the Docker manifest create command is you give the different architectures uh, in the tag, and that discovers how the manifest should be built, right? So uh, there's a lot of handcrafting on the author side to make sure that all this thing works. Uh, but the pull side also should be able to validate saying that, hey, I'm, am I pulling the right artifact? Just because the index said it's the right platform doesn't mean that I can trust the platform until I get down to it. If if you can't trust the index, can, then can you really trust the image manifest? I know. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> how, many validations, how many validations you can put in there, right? Yeah. Saeed, I see your hand up. So I got a question. Um, from what I understand, the guidance is to have one artifact per manifest, so that way it's easy to, you know, link. What I am seeing in the wild is people using or maybe abusing layers, so they're putting in a single manifest multiple artifacts as the layers. Isn't that a little bit confusing? So, one artifact in a manifest, but you can have multiple artifacts referencing or referring back to a single image. That's correct, yes. Only one subject reference per artifact. Yeah, one. there's a one subject entry in there, but you can have multiple images with the same subject pointing back no, if you want to. No, that makes sense. No, what I mean is in a single but, manifest, you can have multiple layers. And previously each layer was like a diff tree but now each layer can be just a blob of data, right? Are they like, related? Like an ML model and a readme for that ML model as yeah. separate artifacts, as a real thing that I've seen in the wild. Yeah, yeah Are, that's right. So I would put both of them as different manifests, to be honest, and then link them via the refers API. But what right. I'm seeing is they're being put in the same manifest with different layers. But are they related? Because if they are, if they're all related to a single use case, I could understand someone saying, I've got my machine learning model, I've got a readme, I've got the model itself, I've got some extra source code behind that. They're all together in one big artifact that makes sense to go together. Yeah, yeah. I, well, yeah, that makes sense. So for example, but now what I'm hearing is a list of Helm charts in a single manifest. Um, and they're being bundled as one as think of it like a dependency tree. I, I think that's an abuse of layers. Each for me, each helm chart should be its own manifest and they should be linked via the reference API. I tend to agree. I'd I'd want to see the specific example, but I tend to agree. I've I've also seen like within I've seen some a manifest which have thousands of layers, and each layer is an RPM. So um, they're just bundling everything in one big manifest, but it's it's extremely hard. Uh, thousands of layers is never what uh, the, the spec was uh, written or designed for. Even registries will have trouble supporting that many layers. Have you seen the Nix images? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nick Nix was doing the same kind of stuff on their side. They pretty much do a, a layer per and binary package, whatever it is, at their level they do it at, which gets painfully granular. I mean, I understand it 
before OCI 1.1 where there's no way to relate different things together, but I don't see a reason now with the wrappers API. You just have to say DAG three times and then I think the reference API breaks, right? <laughs> and John will pop up. <laughs> I think the I think the point is if you want a very strong uh uh binding of artifacts, then you want to go from the root. So reference does weaken that model. So all those things you want to tie it with one hash, then this is the only way to do it. Um I mean indirectly it is an index, so if you want to think about it that way, but uh, but Brandon, Nix was doing this way before, right? Like this is not new on their side. Right? It's a little bit new in that they've started getting more active. Okay. And it's not that they haven't done it before, but I think it's getting more and more into the picture. Um, under the cover stalker debug, their command line that they have for debugging any arbitrary command mounts a Nix file system alongside your container image. Let you get into there. If you had like a scratch file system, you can still access and run command lines. So it's getting more popular in the past year too. Because previously they would do like a whole Nix install of all the stuff and that just got, you know, if, as part of your run command, you did that one step and that pulled in 50 packages. Well, that's all one layer. Now they've got different builders that are able to package up each of those things as an individual layer. Yeah, Brian. Yeah. Pretty much. Now, when you have things with a thousand layers, something like that, are you exceeding the four megabyte limit on the manifest? Because that might be your kind of escape point there of saying, look, as a registry, you hit that limit, you're done, cut them off. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so far, we haven't, but yeah, if it keeps going this way, we'll definitely uh, be, be, we'll be hitting that. Hmm. I mean, you're not allowed to let them have more layers if you wanted to, but if you're getting tired of it and you're starting to see performance issues on the registry, it's nice to know that you've got at least some kind of backing there you can work with. Thanks, Sajay. See you. All right. I'll, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep throwing in the pod, the pod stuff until we until we agree. Throw it in. What you got? We'll still work through. I'm just saying. <laughs> it, cha it definitely changes the patterns when you start actually doing an implementation of the stuff. All right. Going back to the earlier discussion, when I said that they don't support an index. I threw it in the chat, but just for posterity here, I might have misread the thing. I saw like one of the non goals that just said manifest list use cases are left out for now, and I might have stopped reading um, because after that it says and will be restricted to matching the architecture like we do today for images. So, too. Yeah, that's fair. If I read the rest of the sentence, I wouldn't have jumped to conclusions. <laughs> Double, yeah, double all, always fun. All the non goals in there, are just like, yeah, we don't support this, we don't support that. And I'm looking through Wait, it, and I'm like, we just don't support artifacts. Say that again. The, yeah, how do we want to support artifact? It just it made it makes almost no sense. It's hard to understand. They, they weren't drafted in the spec as a mountable target path. So how does this match? How does it work? What, is it, what does yeah. it mean? Is there an extra Boolean or an annotation that we need? I think the cryo error may have been pointing to the media type, and it might have been the media type of the config. It may have been the, could have been the media type of the layers, but I think it was the media type of the config that it picked up and said, nope, I don't support that. That, that, that would be expected. It should be one of the Docker layer type or the you know manifest type, sorry, or yeah, it's got to be something portable on the switch statement. Otherwise, it's busted. 
But a Helm chart or any other artifact is, by definition, not going to have that config media type. There you go. And so when people see right. this and they try to mount artifacts in, they're like, I want to do an artifact. It's like, so, nope. so now we need a default path. If it's artifact slack, you know, star or something, yeah. Well, that okay. was the whole discussion that we never had in the cap because they said, look, that's getting way too complicated. Let's just cut this off. Exactly. And, yeah. And I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm okay with them saying we're not going to support this but I just want them to say, we're not going to support this. And the yeah, title and everything and all the surprised. blog posts and everything, it all says artifacts in there. I'm like, we got to change this because people are getting confused and for yeah. good reason, we're getting confused. Well, it, in 1.0, it's a 1.0 artifact. <laughs> Sorry. Is it? it in, some, in some instances, that the, the 1.0 artifact, yeah. Just additional fields. Because one necessary for this. Yeah. Even back with one O, you changed the config media type and the guidance that was put in the other repo that we had. There was a version where it would have worked. Never mind. Yeah. Test cases. We need test cases. And guidance for how to do it, you know, different implementations. It is different. That's gonna, that's gonna come from the Kubernetes side though, right? Cause we're talking the cap at this point. So we, we do need test cases and OCI conformance and everything for the OCI side. Right. Someone was mentioning the other day that we need conformance. This was over in the mailing list. Or anybody has been looking over there saying, hey, um, how do you do this stuff? That well, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm sort of saying here, <laughs> I am saying, we have in the OCI spec the ability to mount stuff. We just don't have the ability to mount an image. We don't talk about it. It's not this layered approach of a, the, that we're doing now with pods that may include artifacts or images or, or the new artifact manifest type when I get that, right? It, it's just not, we don't talk about it. It's not done in a, in a tree fashion. We stop the tree at the original container image. But did OCI ever define that at all, even for any uh, volumes at all? I don't think OCI did anything other than saying, here's a volume mount path of the target inside the container image. But we that's it. Right. We have never documented the source of volumes anywhere in OCI. Correct. And so that's any volume at all, period. Correct. And there's no concept of pod. And, and now we have one. And yeah. this is the best a good way to introduce artifacts. It's a good use case. Um, and now we need now we need some guidance, I think. Um, if we don't provide the guidance, we'll it'll be sort of, you know, some people did it this way, some people did it that way. And that's probably okay. Um, so that goes back. So I'll go back to the conformance comment now, because you're circling back in that direction. We did have the email on the OCI dev list saying, hey, we need to do better conformance tests for these registries that yeah. don't, don't accept artifacts. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking the one registry they're pointing out is not conformant with OCI 1.1 for good reason um, because they don't support it and because our test will verify it and tell them that they don't support it. So from that standpoint, I'm like, yeah, it's, you're not making the case you think you're making. Um but they did comment that they wanted to see conformance test on image spec to be able to test those against a registry. I'm thinking, well, we can't do that against a registry. That needs to be in distribution spec. But what would a conformance test look like for image spec? And the only thing kinda, we came up with was the schema uh, tests. That's kind of what I was thinking of is, would it make sense to have tools output to an OCI layout or even yeah. if they output to a registry to just pull it into an OCI layout and have some kind of test inside of image spec that can look at an OCI layout, walk all the data, look at all the media types, verify all the data in each one of the fields matches the data type that's supposed to be in each one of those fields, verify as required fields exist. Right. I thought we had some, at one point we had some, some test cases doing pretty we, much that. We have the JSON schema, but we don't have like a conformance thing in image spec that someone can say, I'm submitting this layout right. 
to report okay. as an output from my tool for conformance. Okay, I got you. So I'm wondering if that makes sense for us to, you know, not right now, because I've got enough stuff on the plate that I'm thinking about, but I'm wondering if that's something that folks would be interested in the future or someone wants to take time to do it themselves. That would be interesting too. Or just roll it into the distribution and let them import it. Yeah. So distribution spec would cover all the registry APIs and I'm going to throw a bunch of data out there, but I'm going to have the opt out because someone could potentially say, look, I've got a registry that supports the V1 of image spec all the v1.1 image spec stuff in supported here, but I support all the APIs. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda. There. And you've got there the, you have the scaffolding. So, you know. Yeah. And you, so you just, can we that, that recursive tie-in with would, would be difficult with the image spec. Yeah. So that's part of my thought process. So I'll do a bunch of it on the distribution spec of just letting you have that matrix of here's all the data we can throw at a registry and test all the APIs as best we can and try to improve that whole conformance test. But does it make sense to have some kind of image spec conformance that can work on any tool out there that just says this thing output a valid OCI image? And to be able to have a test in there, which means we need to have a way to import image. And the one thing we've got in image spec is an OCI layout. And even if they output it to a directly to registry, there's multiple tools out there that can take content from registry and pull it into an OCI layout. So we can just put a comment in there. Hey, if you got it on a registry, copy it down with one of these five tools out there. It does this for you. Drop it in the layout, run the test, give us the report. So that's going through my head. It, it would not be a perfect conformance test, but it would at least be something that can say, hey, you're generating valid data. Cool. There's a few, a few open source projects that, that could probably help out in that area. I mean, they, they wrote their test using reg clients. So I'm like, I Gotta like what they did, but at the same time, no. One of, yeah. I'm trying to avoid a circular dependency too. I don't want to put a reg client tool inside of OCI that depends on OCI and then right. everything falls apart. All right. That's all I got. Anybody else want to chat about other stuff? Or do you want 10 minutes back to get a bathroom break before your next meeting? 10 minutes back. I'm out. 10 minutes for you. 10 minutes going once, going twice. Everybody wants 10 minutes. I hear no objections. Sold. Sold. Have a great rest of your week. And sure. yeah, hopefully we get this stuff on Tuesday. Uh, Sam, chat with Jory on that one. Drop it in the Slack and we'll find out what goes on with that reschedule of that other meeting. Yep, will do. Bless awesome. You. Take care, everybody.